Is it a sophomore slump for the Guardians band? Hello everyone and welcome to Movie Reviews by Josh. My name is Josh Terry and I, moments ago, got out of the pre-screening for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, the much-awaited sequel to Guardians of the Galaxy from 2014, about kind of a crazy ragtag band of misfit loser types who were kind of superheroes and kind of not taking on the bad guys and all that kind of stuff and finding infinity stones along the way. The plot revolves around Star-Lord and his unique parentage. When we left him, he and the gang had fought off the bad guys, got the infinity stone, and they were ready to actually be semi-legitimate guardians of the galaxy. Now, we're going to find out a little bit more about where Star-Lord came from. In the first movie, we found out that his, his mother had cancer and she died, and that's how he wound up going off into space in the first place. Now, Kurt Russell shows up as his demigod father. And while Star-Lord is dealing with his new daddy issues, the rest of the gang has to deal with Yondu and Nebula and a new race of gold people who are really, really into batteries. But enough plot. The only thing fans are really interested in here is, is this going to be as fun as the first one? And the answer is yes, absolutely. It's crazy, it's off the wall, there's really some really fantastic animation, but the Guardians of the Galaxy style is intact. There's all kinds of humor, lots of quips. Anytime they get anything remotely close to a serious moment, and there are several, some kind of a joke or one-liner comes in. And it doesn't ruin it, it doesn't take the air out of it. It's a lot of fun. This movie really keeps up the same tradition, the same style as the previous one. And I think the fans are really gonna like, they're especially gonna love Baby Groot. There are gonna be a lot of little kids and maybe a few adults who are gonna want to have their own Baby Groot toy after this one, trust me. So the humor is great, the action is great, the music is fantastic, the acting, you know what, this kind of movie you don't even really pay attention to the acting because you're just kind of caught up in the fun. To be fair, the plot takes a little while to get going. It's a little bit more ambiguous until you figure out what's going on and not to spoil anything, but to figure out who the bad guy is. But overall, it really comes together in a really fun way. Of course, there's a fun Stanley cameo and there's multiple scenes after the credits, so you're not gonna wanna leave until the whole thing is completely 100% done. Overall, I'm gonna give this one three and a half stars out of four. Trust me, you're gonna love it. So Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 is rated PG-13, and I noticed it's a little bit more on the vulgar violent side than the first one was. It's still kind of in the same PG-13 range, but Yondu's arrow that goes, flies around and kills people, and there's a lot more you know, shoot 'em ups and a lot of the humor is a little bit more on the scatological side, a little bit on the sexual side, but nothing too extreme, but just it is noticeably intensified from the first movie. So tell me, who is your favorite Guardian? After the first movie, I definitely would have said Drax, but after this one, I'm leaning a little bit towards Baby Groot. Go ahead and leave your answer in the comments below. So thanks again for watching. This has been Movie Reviews by Josh. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our other videos and share them with your friends. So be sure to subscribe on your way out and keep your notifications on so you can see our new videos as soon as they are posted. Thanks as always to our friends at Rocket Gator for their support, and we'll see you around the galaxy.